Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, today we have to analyze the Bitcoin price because guess what, after this huge dump and pump we are back before the CPI data came out. So basically every dump and pump that we have seen in the last couple of hours is erased again, so we are back at the price levels that we were trading before. So we have to analyze my expectations and why I believe that Bitcoin will surprise us very very soon. The question is only when. So if you like this crypto content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Every like and subscriber is very much appreciated. So thank you. And make sure also to subscribe to our YouTube partner channels. They're all linked in the video description and feel free to sign up also to our other social media platforms. You find them all in the video description. And if you're wondering what exchange that I'm using to buy cryptos and of course how to trade cryptos, then make sure to use Bybit. This is the number one trading exchange that I'm using since years. And if you use the sign up link that you find in the video description, you will get $4,000 in trading bonus with the first depth it and here next to trading you of course can also earn passive income thanks to the earn feature I did several videos that are explaining how you can use those tools here over on Bybit because like that you can generate passive income without doing anything and now my friends let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because here in the spot chart we are still trading and we are still going sideways at around nineteen thousand dollars we have seen a huge dump uh, this week and uh, afterwards immediately a huge pump right into the resistance, the top of the Keltner channels in the four hour time frame. We got rejected. We never uh, came down to confirm the 200 moving average as a support. We immediately dumped below and right now we're seeing even four hour closes below the 20 moving average and the mini line of the Keltner channels. So it's very, very likely that here in the next coming hours we're coming down towards $18,800 to retest this previous resistance trend line. Remember that here over in the lines chart we had this downwards moving channel. We had a breakout but we never came down to test it. So in my opinion it's very likely that over the weekend we most likely are coming down to test $18,800 and afterwards probably then push again higher uh, earlier um, uh, in, in Monday or Tuesday. So at the beginning of next week in my opinion because if we switch over into the CME chart you can see that we closed here at $19,155. So wherever we are going during the weekend, most of the times we are retracing where we closed uh, the CME chart on uh, Friday. So most of the times on Monday, as soon as the CMEs are starting to trade again, especially if we have then a new CME gap, so let's say if the price is starting here at around $18,800, we will have a new CME gap and then most of the times we're coming up to close this gap and the price closed here at $19,155 together with the sell signal, which was also confirmed. So even if we on Monday or Tuesday gonna see then uh, a retracement back towards $19,150, it's very likely that over time we are coming lower and lower. But as long as we are above this uh, previous resistance trend line, which now should be acting as a new support, we can make it into green because only if we would see again four hour or daily closes below this trend line, then this would be acting again as a resistance and not anymore as a support. Then we should expect continuation to the downside. And therefore let's head over into the daily time frame because for now we are still getting rejected by the media line of the Keltner channels. I told you yesterday, my friends, if we have daily closes above, then the trading range is between $19,400 and the top of the Keltner channels right uh, close here to this resistance at around 20K. But as long as we don't have daily closes above, the trading range is still here between $19,400 and the bottom of the Keltner channels at $18,100 perfectly matching this support trend line that we still have since we created these last couple of lows. And the problem that I'm seeing currently here in this bigger uh, sideways moving channel that we are creating is that we are testing more the support than the resistance. And usually this is a sign of weakness and the more we're testing a trend line, uh, the more likely it is that we are at some point going to break out that uh, trend line. And uh, since we are testing, at least for now, this, resist uh, this support trend line more than the resistance, in theory, we should expect here um, a potential breakout to the downside in the not so distant future, latest uh, towards the end of this channel, which would be um, next year in January or February 2023, if we are just going to remain in this channel for the next coming months, which in my opinion, we don't have necessarily to do that, but it is possible. 
So in theory, the likelihood here is more probable that we are going to crash down, especially based on the daily time frame. Since here we're still getting negative money flow, RSI below the 50 level, and every buy signal that we had in the daily time frame is just uh, uh, ending in in a lower high. And as as long as we don't have uh, higher uh, highs, so as long as we have those uh, lower highs. So we should be trading back above $20,400, then we could change this structure. But as long as we have those lower highs, uh, we are still in a downtrend and we should expect the worst. But um, Bitcoin still has the chance to reverse. And the the only bullish thing that I'm seeing right now is over in the bigger time frames, like the four hour or daily time frame, which in theory are more important. But um, until they're going to play out, usually this takes a very, very long time. And here in the weekly time frame, the bullish thing that I'm still seeing is the RSI because here sooner or later we are going to break out here to the upside. We we are still in this bullish pattern, a falling wedge. We are in very oversold condition. Once we are getting here a major rally, my opinion, uh, to at least has here the top of the Kelton channels currently at 30k. It's even possible that we could see afterwards a breakout to the upside. That uh, doesn't mean that we have to go towards new all-time highs, but at least we could get a nice bear market rally, but only if Bitcoin would start to pump here and push towards the top of the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame, currently at around $30,000, perfectly matching this resistance trend line of this falling broadening wedge. And the other reason why I think that we could get a nice rally up towards 30k next before eventually crashing down towards 12k, so towards the support of this falling broadening wedge, is also because of the monthly time frame, which is in very, very oversold condition, similar like we were in every um, bottoming area in previous bear markets. And uh, that's why I still expect that we could get here a big trend reversal very, very soon and at least a bear market rally that could take us towards the media line of the Caltus channels at 30k, right at this resistance trend line of this falling broadening wedge in the monthly time frame. And for the best case scenario, maybe even a full run up towards the top of the Caltus channels in the monthly time frame currently at around 50k. This moving average, of course, will decline here month by month. That's why I don't expect 50k uh, even if um, um, we are... Uh, here just straight away pumping because uh, this will take several months until this uh, buy signal uh, will play out similar like we had here for example in 2018 this buy signal uh, the bottom was already in and afterwards we started a huge run up towards the top of the Kelton channels in the monthly time frame it went very rapidly but I don't think that here we will start to pump like in one or two months up towards 50k I don't expect that but what I'm expecting is that over time probably during the re during the year of 2023 we could get here follow through to the upside towards the top of the Kelton channels in the monthly time frame it will be lower but in my opinion it is very likely that uh, maybe by next year we are starting to push again above thirty thousand dollars or above this resistance trend line that we're forming here also because if we switch over into the US dollar index you can see that also here we are in very overbought condition exactly the opposite than the Bitcoin chart and we are in very similar conditions not only with my indicators but only with the price where it is trading right now in uh, comparison to the moving averages uh, exactly like we were also in 2015. You can see that here also we were way above all important moving averages exactly li like right now and once we got that sell signal we started a huge consolidation phase until we finally broke down towards the 200 monthly moving average. And even if we are not crashing down towards the 200 monthly moving average over time at least we could expect here a potential uh, local high and at least a huge consolidation phase or maybe even come down to test important support levels in the monthly time frame for example here um, the median line of the Kelton channels at 100 or the bottom line currently at around 94. It is possible and uh, the DXY would still remain in an uptrend even if we correct here down towards 100 and that's why I think that a potential consolidation phase or corrective phase is in the cards here for the US dollar index and once we're getting that then I'm expecting a big trend reversal for the crypto and stock market. The same thing, of course, is also valid for Ethereum. But here the spread is way, way higher because uh, the resistance is right here at $2,200, the top of the Kelton channels. We could reach that price target if Bitcoin would rally up towards 30K. And if Bitcoin would go higher than 30K and start a nice uh, bull run, then of course for Ethereum, we have to do a measurement because then the breakout target of this falling broadening wedge, if this was the bottom here, is uh, higher than the all-time high that we got for now at around $5,000. 
and vice versa if bitcoin is going to crash down first down towards 12k for ethereum i think that we will see way way uh, bigger drops uh, so then i'm expecting the price to come back down towards 400 to 500 dollars so towards the support trend line of this bigger falling broadening wedge that we are forming so i think that ethereum will crash way way lower than um, than a bitcoin because bitcoin would crash let's say from 19,000 down to 12k but ethereum could drop down from 1300 dollars down to 400 dollars so this would be a, a, a way more a severe a corrective uh, move than uh, the one that in my opinion could happen for bitcoin and that's why in my opinion right now if you're just holding some coins and you still expect the worst case scenario sitting on bitcoin is way better than in any other altcoins and also here ethereum w currently starting to look bearish in the four hour time frame we have four hour closes below this support and also confirmation that is new resistance let's turn it into red so here i'm expecting also some more uh, dumps here and um, since we are now not even able to have this as a support the seven dollars and thirty cents area it's very likely that we could come down to revisit the five dollars area and probably even create lower lows uh, if overall the crypto market continues to go sideways or uh, to tank so only if uh, bitcoin and overall the crypto market would recover then i think that it here in w here has the chance uh, for a nice rally but until then be cautious because this uh, support is lost at least for now and um nasdaq also closed the uh, bearish here we closed uh, below the 200 weekly moving average on friday but we are also here in very oversold condition and still above the bottom of the calton channels so even though we could get in the next coming days and weeks still continuation to the downside i still expect that also here we are going to see very very soon a big trend reversal because we are hitting important support levels in the bigger time frames like the monthly and here once we are getting a nice bounce i'm expecting also nasdaq uh, that we could rally not only up towards this resistance trend line at around 12,700 but also towards the top of the Kelton channels in the monthly time frame and over time probably also push higher and once this is uh, happening then I believe that we could see also a big um, uh, reversal in the crypto market as soon as also nasdaq here is starting to pump which in my opinion could happen very very soon but be prepared that for the next coming days especially as soon as we are starting to trade again here on monday we will most likely go sideways or even lower here since uh, in the immediate short term like the daily and week and the four hour time frame we just got fresh sell signals in the uh, on friday in my indicator so I am starting to get again more bearish here. I think that we most likely are going to revisit here the 18 to 19 thousand dollars area before we're gonna see a clear decision here to push higher or lower. But um, in my opinion, I still expect that Bitcoin could surprise everyone very, very soon here, especially once the US dollar index is going to break significant support levels. I still expect. That the potential macro top is in here but uh, everything is going to be depending well what will happen here with the user index in the next coming days if we're going to continue to create higher highs and higher lows then um, we're going to see more corrective phases in the crypto market but if the US dollar index here is starting to dump and especially having daily closes for the first time here below the bottom of the Keltner channels then in my opinion it's very very likely that we have seen the top at least for now for the US dollar index and we are going to get here a big change in structure not only here for the US dollar index but also for the crypto and stock market and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content hit that like button subscribe to the channel don't forget to sign up to bybit this is the number one trading exchange where you can do basically everything and thank you again very much for your great support and uh, don't forget to subscribe also to our other social media platforms they're all linked in the video description so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye